Good morning, friends. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I guess you can tell it's a crazy day around here. Um, actually, it's a day. I just got back from the farm. I've showered and um, hair's up on top of my head. Um, I'm going to decorate the Christmas tree. I'm going to finish cleaning up and putting away from Thanksgiving. Um, my house needs cleaning. Just tons of laundry. Oh, my goodness. I am piled this high with laundry so we're doing a quick easy crock pot pork roast that's healthy that's a good thing so stay tuned that's what we're doing today Okay, guys, so yes, I've got a lot going on today, but I got to get used to this because Vlogmas is right around the corner, and you've got to get used to this look <laughs> because that's what you'll see every morning when I say good morning. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to do um, a pork roast because I found where I had cut one in half in the, well, actually, I cut it in thirds. It was one of those great big ones from Sam's cut it in thirds and um, I had a third left. So I wanted to use it so I could have it cooking in the crock pot. Now normally I add in uh, maybe Lipton onion soup mix, a cream of mushroom or a cream of type soup with it to make a gravy. Today we're just going simple, basic because I want to be able to eat it. Now a lot of you know I'm doing the Optavia plan um, and on that plan you're supposed to count um, your seasonings as um, condiments and so forth. I really don't know how to do that with this. And if I don't usually count the seasonings, to be honest, I just don't. Um, if it has sugar or sodium, probably yes. And I am going to be using salt, but we're just going to go with it today because I, I'll just measure out my amount of pork and we'll see. So anyway, I've got to get it going because it's already um, probably 930 and um, I want to have it ready and I want to cook it on low. So we are doing simple, basic, basic cooking today, but this is the good old timey way. You don't have to have all that fancy stuff. It's going to be good. Y'all look at my mess. Oh, I, I'm telling y'all, I have a mess today. Look, it's already on. My crock pot's already on. Let's, yeah, it's on low. All right. So I'm I'm gonna season this side, but then I'm gonna flip it over because I want the fat side on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, salt it a little bit. And all I'm using is salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I'm putting um, some. Oh, let me get a pepper that's open. I'll just use my pepper crock. How's that? Of course, it's about empty. Now, I really like to pepper up my pork. Y'all know I like black pepper anyway. All right, so I'm just going to flip this over. And we're going to here, I'm going to switch hands so I don't touch nothing. I'm really black pepper in my pork here. Okay, we'll set that aside. Now we'll put a little salt. Okay, and we can add, this is optional, and of course it's not open, so let me get a garlic powder that's open. Okay, now I think I'm ready. <laughs> ah, it's going to be one of those kind of days, y'all. And I'm just going to put some garlic powder. Now I have sliced up an onion, so we're going to drop that in there, a whole onion. Now, I don't know what kind of sides I'm going to do with this. I'll probably do a few potatoes because I only have a few left for the family. Now, I won't be eating potatoes. But, y'all, even though this is healthy, this is something my family would want anyway. So, it's it's something I can eat, but it's not that the family don't look at this as a, one of my diet meals. 
<laughs> okay, and so to that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of chicken broth. You could add water if you don't have chicken broth, by all means, add water. And I'm gonna run it down on the side so I don't get that seasoning off the pork. And I'm only gonna go about halfway up the pork with the liquid. All right, it's on low. I'm gonna put the lid on and that's all we're doing to this pork. It's gonna be delish. Now, of course, if you had carrots or anything else you wanted to throw in there, by all means do. I just don't happen to have any and I really can't have carrots. So, um, but if you wanted them, this is the dish to throw it in. Just throw whatever you want to in there. Potatoes, it doesn't matter. Um, seasoning, you can add any kind of seasoning if you wanted to add rosemary or, or thyme or anything that goes well, pairs well with pork, by all means, throw it in there. This is, I'm just going basic today because I really didn't want to worry with it. I wanted to get to decorating the Christmas tree and cleaning up, like my kitchen, I got to get it cleaned up. I can't take it. So, we still have table and chairs in here from Thanksgiving. I got to get them out. And it's been a busy, busy week. We Thanksgiving was on Thursday. And after supper, I just didn't do anything except sit in the chair. And I held one of my grandbabies that went to sleep. Well, I held both of them after they went to sleep, actually. One of them I put to sleep. The other one I held while he was asleep. Um, then on Friday... Um, I did like pack up some of the leftovers and get rid of some of the things. I started cleaning up from Thanksgiving, <laughs> cleaned the dishes. I did really well on Friday. Friday night, we went shopping for a little bit. Saturday, we went to the mountains to get the Christmas tree. And yesterday was our hanging of the green service at church. And so we did that. And I had my grandbabies. They spent the night with me Saturday night. So, um... It's been a busy weekend and things have kind of been neglected here. So I got to get things, things have kind of been neglected here. I don't know what you call, but I got to get things started back so we can, um, yeah, I can get things back in order. <coughs> hey friends, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. This is a video you won't see on my channel every single day, but at least probably maybe once a year. Somebody has brought me a beautiful, several stalks of turnip greens, not turnip greens, collard greens. Um, so I'm just pulling the stems off, pulling the leaf off the stem, and we're going to freeze this because I'm not ready to cook this. This, I want this for New Year's, and, um, and actually I'm just not prepared to cook it today. And I want to I want to cook it when I can have some cornbread. And I'm at the point in my weight loss journey I can't have cornbread right yet. Um, I hopefully, we'll be able to add it in just once in a while, um, someday, <laughs> but not yet. And uh, it's not today's just not a day I want to splurge. But I don't want these beautiful color greens to go to waste. So I am gonna freeze them so what I'm doing now is I'm just the hard stalky stem pulling it off and then I get down to the bottom and I just um, pull it off so I've got several bunches of these collards to go through and I'm gonna wash them and I'll bring you back and show you what I do when we get ready to wash them up so I'll see you back in just a minute once I get through taking all the stalks out. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so right here in my sink, I have two pans um, like this uh, because I have just one, one big sink. Um, and so I wanna rinse these twice. I wanna wash them twice um, in the pan one. I have my, I have it full of water and I have um, the greens in it. Um, you could add some white vinegar to your water, that would be great, or some produce wash. 
that would be great into pan number one. So let me see if I can tilt you down. And so I'm just taking them, um, washing them well. And then I'll move them over. I've been washing these for a little bit already. Um, so I'll just move them over to pan number two. You're mainly just, because these came out of the garden, so you're just mainly getting the sand and dirt and any little critters that may be on it off. I also have a pot of water boiling or coming to a boil on my stove. Um, that is what we're going to blanch them in. Okay, so this water is kind of turned a uh, brownish color. So I'm going to pour that down the drain. And there's sand at the bottom. So I'm going to take my spray and rinse this pan out really good. Okay. So it has no water in it now. I've rinsed everything, all the sand, all the dip out of it. It is good. So we're going to wash these again and move them back over here. And then we'll head over to the stove where my boiling water is. Okay, guys. So my water is pretty close to boiling. Not quite. But I have a little extra stuff to do anyway. I like to tear mine into smaller pieces. Um... Some people cut theirs, and this is the time that if I see I left any stems that I think are too big, I will um, pull them out as well, but I'm just giving this a good tear. Um, they, like I said, they don't have to be perfect because, you know, they're going to wilt way down. Anyway, I just take a handful, twist, and pull. And um, now you could have a pot of cold water to put these into when you get ready to pull them out. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my colander in the sink and run cold water over it. Um, the ice water would probably work better. Um, but I guess I'm just being kind of lazy today. Okay, so here's a good example of a stem that may be a little bit too big. So I'll just pull it out. And I'm going to take something and kind of push this down in the water. doing this kind of the fast way today not spending a lot of time on it Hey guys, we're almost here. I have several more bunches to clean over there. But we'll be doing this pretty much for the next little bit. Okay, so now that I've got them all in there, I'm gonna push them down. I'm gonna set my timer for about a minute to two minutes, probably a minute and 45 seconds. 
just depending. I wanted to get it to a good, and it's bubbling, I can hear it. So um, I may go, let's go a minute and a half. So I'm gonna time it, I'll bring you back in just a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this in a colander and run some cold water over it. Then I have these pans with towels that I'm just gonna lay them out um, to get any excess liquid off and um, we'll freeze them up. Now you'll notice I'm not putting any seasoning or anything like that in here because we'll season them when we cook them. Today, we're just freezing them and preserving them for us to have um, at another meal. So I'm gonna set a timer and I'll see you back. It'll end up probably being two minutes since I'm still talking. So um, we'll be back in about a minute and a half for you just a second. Okay guys, so I've poured them in a colander and I've had cold water spraying on them. Um, so what I'm going to do now is you'll see they've wilted a little bit, but they're still a full leaf. You know, it's not like they're cooked. Um, so I'm just going to kind of spread them out on these cookie sheets to help them dry a little bit. And then we'll bag them up. Now you can also can collard greens. I think I'm gonna prefer freezing them, but I wanna be sure to get the excess water off of here as much as I can. Um, and, and we'll let them cool and pat them dry. And then we'll put them in some freezer bags Get them in the freezer. Okay, guys, we will be back in just a little bit. I'm going to finish laying these out, let them dry, pat them dry, and once I get them bagged up and everything cleaned, all the other collard greens cleaned, I'll show you. And I've only got great big freezer bags, so we're going to do these in big batches. So we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, guys, look here. We have four big nice bags i mean that's that's a big bag of collard greens um so four beautiful big bags um i've got out all the air i can possibly get out um i'm gonna get me a food saver one day but here we go we would have had more than four except that y'all forgive my floors and it's bad <laughs> Ah, oh, what a mess my house is in. Bryant wanted me to cook some up for supper. So that's actually what I'm doing here in this pot. Um, I have put water in there, a little bit of olive oil, some salt, and some chicken bouillon uh, granules. Um, I would have put chicken base, but we didn't have any chicken base, so I used the chicken bouillon olive oil and some salt so we're just gonna let this cook away this afternoon i'll put the lid on in just a little bit and we will have collards with what we're having for supper is a pork roast from the crock pot in the crock pot so there you go that is how easy it is to freeze collards now these aren't cooked they're just blanched so there will be a cooking process when you get them out to cook them you'll cook them just like i'm doing the fresh ones over there except these have been blanched and wilted just a little bit so i'm gonna get these in the freezer guys we've got several good meals here worth of collard greens okay guys here is the pork roast and that's what's left of it in the crock pot um we had someone bring us some collard greens. I froze some and I cooked some up. And let's let Bryant tell you what he thought of the pork roast. Delicious. Like he, phenomenal. He told me, he Here, says... Y'all watch this. Oh, yeah, he's doing the fork thing. <laughs> Best good flavor. It's not... Sometimes she'll put a, a can of cream of mushroom or something in there. But... He, he told me a while ago not to do it any other way than this. The flavor is really good. And it's so simple. So this is one of those things where 
You tell simple me what you... is best. Less is more in this case. You tell me what you did? Yes. Yep, they watched me. I fixed it while they were here. <laughs> so there you go. Less is more in the case of a pork roast. Um, just salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, and some onion, and chicken broth for the juice. And so this is our meal for tonight. No bread, as you can see. Pork roast and collard greens. Thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.